What's going on, A Push people? We have A Push Review Period 1, which is from 1491 to 1607. I'm going to cover this bad boy in 10 minutes for you, and you will know everything you need to know about Period 1 to succeed in A Push. Before we begin, it's shout out time. This one is going out to Mr. Serbo's class. My comment section was being blown up with requests, Mr. Serbo, to give you a shout out. Your students think you are an amazing teacher. So good luck to you all. Thank you for your support. You are brilliant and will do great on the exam. All right, let's start off talking about Native Americans pre-contact. So 1491 and prior. Very important to understand this time period. Maize or corn was a significant food source in present-day Mexico and southwestern United States. Entire civilizations were built around corn. Now, in the northwestern portion of the United States, present-day Northern California, Oregon, and Washington, natives hunted, fished, and foraged. So they were hunter-gatherers. And let's take a look at this. We'll notice in the center of this map, we have the Great Plains. And the Great Basin and the Great Plains were predominantly hunting because there was a lack of natural resources. As specifically mentioned in the new curriculum, make sure you know that. In the northeastern United States, you see over here, this area was a mix of agriculture and hunting. They had some maize up there, and there was hunting as well. So really, the, the theme of this slide is that Native Americans adapted to their environments. All right, European exploration goals. What were some technological improvements that helped promote contact and trade? Well, we have the sextant, and here is a sextant. It helped determine longitude and latitude. It pretty much was a, a GPS for its time. We also had joint stock companies in which people would pool their money together, and this allowed them to raise lots of money to pay for our exploration. So what were some reasons for it? Well, Think of the three G's, gold, glory, and God. So we have wealth. Many countries sought to seek wealth and gold. Many of them also sought to, to achieve power and status. And countries like Spain really focused on spreading Christianity. So three G's, again, gold, glory, God, or gospel. Your choice of the last G. All right, jumping over to European contact. We have the Columbian Exchange specifically mentioned, know this bad boy at all costs. It is the exchange of goods, ideas, people, and diseases between Europe, Africa, and the America. So what is the impact on Europe? And definitely know the impacts on specific countries. Well, we have an increase in food going to Europe, specifically corn or maize and potatoes. And every time I look at this picture, it just makes me want to have a big potato. It is so good. This will be influential in countries like Ireland. And there's also a shift from feudalism to capitalism during this time. So what's the impact on natives? Well, diseases killed many. And here is an early drawing of a gentleman with measles. You had measles and smallpox that natives were not immune to, and sadly for them, as many as 90% of natives died upon contact. Horses and guns transformed the way of life for Native Americans. Hunting became easier and warfare became more destructive. And let's jump on over to impacts on Africans. We have an increase in the slave trade. That's a direct result of the Portuguese and the Spanish in West Africa. All right, so looking at this map, this is the Spanish Empire in the America. So what are the impacts of Spanish contact? Well, there's a new caste system that emerges and racially diverse populations. You have mestizos, which were people that were mixed Spanish and native ancestry. And you also have mulattoes, which were mixed Spanish and African ancestry. And one thing to note is that the Spanish intermarried more with natives than did the English. The encomienda system was established and, and very powerful throughout the 16th century or the 1500s. These were royal grants of land from the Spanish crown to Spaniards. And the Spanish settlers promised to Christianize natives. So they were essentially given land, turned the natives into slaves, and promised to Christianize them. And the Spanish gained tribute or some form of payment from Native Americans. So how were the natives impacted? Many were treated harshly. As I mentioned, this is essentially slavery. And many of them were forced to do heavy manual labor, building roads and infrastructure in the Spanish colonies. Eventually, this system, this is a theme in the Americas, Native American labor will be replaced with African slave labor. All right, let's talk about debates over treatment of natives. We have this dude, Bartolome de las Casas. I probably butchered that. Um, he was in favor of better treatment of natives. He was kind of in the minority of Europeans who've advocated better treatment of natives. So how was treatment of Africans and natives justified? How was this harsh treatment in this, this slave conditions justified? Well, many different reasons, including white superiority, religion, and the view that those groups were, quote unquote, uncivilized. So let's talk about some conflict with natives. Europeans sought to change natives' way of life and their worldview. 
And native sought to preserve autonomy. It's very important to understand this word autonomy. That means independence or self-rule. So natives are trying to preserve their own independence while living in this world with Europeans. And Africans are going to do the exact same thing. So what were ways Africans adapted to the Western Hemisphere? Again, they sought to preserve independence or self-rule or autonomy. And they combined Christianity with African religions. And they also formed maroon communities, which were communities made up of runaway slaves. And they would have their own communities that they would live in. All right, let's do a quick recap. Know the native cultures prior to contact. Maize, corn, it's huge. Know the impacts of it on Europe. Reasons for European exploration. Be able to give me a couple. Be able to give AP a couple of those. What were the goals of Europeans? Columbian Exchange. Holy cow, absolutely know that. If there's anything for period one, you're going to see it's probably going to be the Columbian Exchange. And what was the impact on the three continents? How did your Europe justify the treatment of natives and Africans? What was the encomienda system? And how were natives how did natives and Africans seek to preserve some level of autonomy? Before before we go, if you want to do a quick short answer practice, I came up with this short answer question really quickly for you to practice. You're going to answer all three parts. European interaction with the Western Hemisphere drastically changed life for all those involved. A. Briefly explain one reason for European exploration. B. Briefly explain one impact of European exploration on the Americas. And C. Briefly explain one impact of European exploration on Europe. That is basically the Columbian Exchange here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you right back here for period two in 10 minutes. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, please subscribe and share this video with others if you found it helpful. And best of luck on all of your tests, especially the one in May. You're going to rock it. You are brilliant. And I will see you at the next video. Have a good day.